Zara, you're a 2006 to 2011 CRV owner who has had a problem with heat. Um, the heat's not coming out. And I've done uh, a few videos on this, and um, including uh, one on self-diagnostic, one on you know looking at the motor and bench testing the actuator motor. And this one's going to be an overview. I've had a lot of comments on my separate videos. And I'm going to focus this video on the heat problem, um, and it's the electromechanical side of it. You could have a problem with your radiator where you're not getting heat, but I think this is going to be focused on the electromechanical part, particularly the um, blend door actuator, the blend door actuator. And I'm going to go through the other videos a little bit, and then just summarizing. Um, how I'd go about solving this problem now that I know what I'm doing, sort of. Uh, Bottom line is, a lot of people are saying if they just take, you know, something like this and hit this motor a few times, and then there's a green connector here, you pull this in and out a few times, and that um, a lot of times will solve your problem and you don't have to do anything else. Then some people also say if they do take this unit out and uh, you basically pull this connector in and out, in and out, in and out a few times and then put this back, they'll be able to get the, the heat to work with this thing here. Um, and uh, that is pretty much the short of it as far as what's worked right off the bat the littlest uh, amount of work that you'd have to do and then the rest of this video is uh, just kind of explains what we're doing here and the location of it. So everything. now what we're looking at here is uh, the brake pedal area. You just kind of go up there you can see this green connector here and then this motor here that handles the blend so it's pretty easy to see and locate and you can tap this motor and pull this connector out and uh, wiggle it around and that's the one end of this that you can test and I'm going to show you another preparation that you could put inside this on these pins and perhaps have better connection because there's sometimes an intermittent connection in these wires here that causes this problem I think and then the other thing you can do is um, pop this out I have another video on that take a look and then you can unseat the connector on the side of this and seat it again and that will probably um, you know help you now I'm going to show you I'm actuating this now and you can see how this thing is moving. Well, I move the wheel on this area right here. So I'm moving this and I get motor movement. I've done another video on this, but this needs to be done before you start taking things apart, and pulling connectors off. What you want to do is do this, what's called a DTC test, to test the um, blend door, the air mix motor. And so what we're going to do is have this on off, have this full cold, and then have this light here on. And then of course we're going to have the key in a position where this here is on. Now what we're going to do then is press one button, one, one finger on this and press this other button here five times. So we have a finger on that and then one, two, three, four, five. So what it does is it goes into the self-test mode to test everything. And if you're trying to test the air conditioner, of course, you'd have to have the motor on. But um, what you do is you look at the status on this and then this button should flash either one or it'll flash two or it'll flash three times to indicate the, um, that you have a blend door problem or an air mix problem and that's kind of the start of this process. So this 
air mix control motor is part of the whole system. So some of these buttons control something else. So generally this air mix is controlled by this knob over here, but then there also is a um, mode control and the mode control um, I think goes from you know foot to fa to face to you know the different um, places where you could possibly get the air direction and then there's of course the recirculation control which covers you know inside and outside air so but the scope of this video is just to control this um, just just because we have problems not getting heat which generally is related to this problem however there is um, a radiator water that goes in into this into this area that provides heat we get heat from the radiator so if you've done work on your radiator recently that's been it's accepting you know you have an air bubble or some issue with your um, your car's cooling system and the radiator water getting to here that could be a problem and it's not it's out of the scope of this We're video dealing with a no heat problem which involves usually the mix between this and this that's the electromechanical problem with no heat but you could have a no heat problem and then this would all be working fine here's a here's the motor that controls the vent between the heat and uh, the cold and you know could be a problem with the electrical electrical connection to this from this unit here to this unit here uh, but there could be other reasons that you have this problem that are non electromechanical um, so the first thing we do is we try to reproduce the problem and see see if the, this door see if this thing is working and we'd like to do a visual check like I showed you before about this you know to see if this is actually working and doing its job um, is the motor even is the motor even going uh, if it is going chances are this part is probably good and probably if you actuate this knob here and this motor works like I said this problem this probably works um, but the thing that we want to do is we want to do this mechanical or this uh, diagnostic test where we um, you know we, we, we have this button on and we have this on full cold and we have this off and then we have the vent set up and then we you know press the recirc circ button and then hit this one two three four five times like like I've showed in, you in another video and shortly on this video and then chances are once we go through that we can look up these um, these uh, diagnostic codes and so one, two, or three have to do with the, a problem with the air mix. And then you can see some of these other problems are, are in the mode control or the blower or the HVAC. So these are other things, but I'm really going to focus on one, two, and three because that's what's probably causing our trouble. So what we could do then if 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 we can't get the motor working we could uh, disconnect this connector here i have another video where i show you how to pull this unit out of the car and um, here's the part number i i happen to get a happen to get a new one of these but um, it's possible that this connector is just you know a little bit corroded and you can use um, dielectric grease and you could just smear a little bit on here and and um, and then put the and put the connector in if you live in a kind of a humid environment perhaps that you know this is one of your problems and then um, we ha also have this connector here we can take this out and put it in take it out put it in and some people have said that they found that if they bang on this part with a hammer when this part is in the car you don't even have to unscrew it you just bang on this one a couple of times with a hanger hammer and that will actually solve their problems I'm gonna go over a little bit on uh, this video here that is the um, testing of the um, you know AC system and all the other uh, systems if you have a problem with mix 
you might even look at this video. Uh, this video here uh, deals with positioning and testing of the motor. Sometimes you have to position the motor in order to install the blend door um, actuator motor. This right here uh, kind of shows you the operation of the blend door uh, um, mechanism. And this one here is more of a technical bench testing of the different uh, functions of the blend door motor. You probably won't need to worry about that. And I have another one where I'm actually removing the um, the this control here from the from the the car, and I'm uh, and I'm just discussing a little bit more about the uh, blend door actuator motor.